a solution architect at uh, Cloudera, which means that uh, on a daily basis I'm welcoming uh, Cloudera customers to either install uh, or use Hadoop systems. Uh, my duties range from uh, ingestion to a Hadoop system, uh, possibly to machine learning, for example, with Spark. So I have a broad sense uh, of the Hadoop ecosystem, and I also enjoy reaching out to customers. So I have been contributing uh, to Flink for about two and a half, three years now. Uh, I have been working uh, for the Hungarian Academy of Sciences uh, at that time, and we had a project to develop the first streaming API for Flink. Since then, I became a Flink PMC, and I have kept an eye on the project ever since. Uh, currently, I'm not uh, using it, uh, it as a part of my uh, professional work, but I try to help out the community as much as I can. So uh, last time I presented uh, during the summer uh, at uh, one of the Flink meetups at the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm trying to educate my colleagues uh, as cloud area of possible use cases of Flink and also I'm, I'm uh, developing a couple of projects around Flink. Uh, this conference I have I'm been involved with Spreet also together, and also I'm looking forward to uh, contributing the streaming machine learning API to Flink. I think the coolest feature that's coming up, and actually it's coming in the 1.2 release, which is the next one, is dynamic uh, scaling also with uh, state. And I think that's, uh, that's a great feature. It's going to make uh, Flink operations a whole lot easier. And then uh, Flink will be really able to claim that it, uh, its jobs can run forever. Uh, I think uh, it would be really, really useful if Flink had a, a couple of uh, big users that we could post as uh, examples. Currently, uh, we have a couple of nice use case examples with industrial partners, but I sort of feel that we are at the tipping point of having that critical mass where we can say that, okay, these five big companies are using it, it should be good enough for you as well. I would definitely say that you should just write an email to the developer mailing list. It's, it sounds very easy, but that's actually the process. You can introduce yourself to the community. I think we are still very uh, small in the sense that you will get an answer and, and we try to be as welcoming as we can. Uh, have a look at our Jira, have a look at our documentation, and then you will just, just have the feel of it. We have a couple of starter issues where you can develop something really small but still con uh, start to contribute and then you can start digging deeper gradually. Okay.